Hey Metalheads, Roger Hinchcliffe here from Steelhead Manifesto. Tonight we are talking boots and skein. Boots and skein for you fishy dudes out there. When I say boots and skein, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of that dirty good fishing where you fish with a big piece of skein cured up in your own recipe underneath a float and you whack them big salmon and big freight trains. It's a lot of fun, right? So that's some of the stuff that we love to do here in the Great Lakes. So anyways, I've had a request to talk about what my basic uh, boots and skein rig is. So let's talk about that, okay? Basically what I do, again, anything I say, folks, is just an opinion, okay? Just my opinion. We're gonna start with the main line, whether it's braid, whether it's mono, some of the new super lines, the floating lines, nylon lines, whatever. Me personally, at a minimum, I run 20 pound test line. 20 pound test line period i don't go anything under that for my main line just personal opinion and then from there what i do is i connect that to my shot line which i typically use fluorocarbon for my shot line uh, you can use mono you you know whatever whatever tickles your fancy me personally that's just what i do and obviously you step the line down you know in poundage and what i do is i tie an albright special knot Okay, now you can use a swivel to join the shot line to the main line if you wish. Me personally, I just tie an Albright Special. The purpose of that uh, is it's a very quick, easy knot to tie, and it's incredibly strong. I personally like it better than the blood knot, uh, only because, not that I think it's stronger, just that it's easier and faster to tie than the blood knot. But the blood knot works. And then from that, we go down to our float. Uh, I like to use the um, fixed floats or even the slip floats. And this one is a 15 gram. That's kind of like my all-time uh, favorite, a fast and deep 15 grammar. And then from there on my shot line, you'll notice I put the bigger shot on here, um, you know, instead of using smaller shot and then tapering it down, hopefully hoping that the camera could pick it up. But you get the idea, right? We start with the bigger shot at the top, and then we slowly scale that down to the bottom shot, and that's called a tapered shot pattern. Now. I have fished, uh, you know, an egg sinker rig with a BB size split shot. Does that work? Absolutely. A lot of guides like to use that rig only because, you know, if they got clients, they don't want to have to take the time to retie shot lines in case the customer, you know, ended up breaking that off. Me personally, I like a tapered shot line um, only because I think, you know, as it's sitting in the water with all that weight, Okay, I think what it does is it slows my roll. Slow your roll in the hole. Slow your roll in the hole. I'm trying to walk the dogs and lead the pups here, kids. So that's just my opinion. And then obviously at the bottom with the smaller split shot, you know your offering's gonna kind of swing out. But what we have here is a bigger size swivel. I personally don't like to use a very small swivel. I want a meaty swivel, a strong swivel. One thing I will tell you is don't skimp on the swivel, man. I've seen it too many times. I mean, you're fishing for a salmon, man. These, these kings, they can strip off 100 yards of line, have you in wood. You guys know the drill, right? And then from there, I use a fluorocarbon leader. I personally am a huge fan of the Drennan line. This is a 12 pound. Even though it says 12 pound, the actual breaking strength of this is 14 pounds. So at an absolute minimum, I, my opinion, I would say an absolute minimum, I would run 12 pound um, uh, leader line up to a 15 pound. I think that's what most guys use and that's just what I do. And then from there, I uh, got to try these new Raven sickle hooks. Folks, if you haven't tried Try these things oh my god man these things are dirty good you know the sickle hook design has been around a long time right that's nothing new but what Raven did is they did a great job of building a really strong hook I mean these things are towing hooks man and then what makes it even more better is it is sticky sharp that is sticky sharp and that's what you want right and then from there uh, in a previous video we did the egg loop knot right so here's where you would put your uh, skein on there 
I typically use a quarter size piece of skein, depending on water clarity. Um, sometimes, you know, that water is really clear. The fish have been beat on, you know, a really smaller piece of skein works great, the size of a quarter. Uh, most of the time, I'm running about a two inch piece and sometimes as large as a four inch piece of skein. Um, believe it or not, the salmon tell me what they want, depending on the day. I've seen days where they want a golf ball of skein you know to get bit and then there's other days they want something a little smaller um, and then obviously you can incorporate yarn to add some more scent um, or you can even take an L wife head and tip your hook with that that's a dirty good technique as well so that's basically it folks that is my basic salmon rig hopefully this has been beneficial to you uh, you might have learned a trick or two or something and uh, if, if you found it beneficial or you know somebody that this might help Please feel free to share this video, subscribe down below, and we appreciate your support. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Fish on.